it's Molly here and unfortunately Colin the Crow is a bit busy today and he couldn't make it so it's just me um, unfortunately we're not in our usual setting in the woods it is a rather wet rainy day I don't know if you can hear the rain on the roof but yeah a really soggy day today so Colin is staying lovely and dry high up in the trees in his nest so I'm here today to talk with you all about bonfires and fireworks and guy forks. You may have noticed that lots of fireworks have been going off already in the area. Um, partly that may be due to the Diwali festival that was celebrated um, a week or so ago and that is known to go on for quite some time. But also as soon as they sell fireworks it seems that everyone buys them and sets them off when they can <laughs> but usually the fireworks are for Guy Fawkes Night which happens on the 5th of November it's not just known as Guy Fawkes Night but some people call it Bonfire Night or Fireworks Night traditionally it is to celebrate the night where a man called Guy Fawkes was captured so over 400 years ago in 1605 a man called Guy Fawkes was captured below the Houses of Parliament right before he was about to ignite many many barrel loads of gunpowder he committed something called high treason and was sentenced to death because of this now high treason means going against the law or at that time going against the king a fun fact was that it wasn't just Guy Fawkes who had plotted this but 13 other people and one of them 13 had let the secret out and that is exactly how Guy Fawkes got caught and it was a good job that he did get caught because it wouldn't have just been Parliament that blew up but apparently around 500 meters would have been dam would have been damaged and that would have included many many lives including the life of the king at the time King James the first uh, for many years it was a tradition to make your own guy um, this would be made out of like straw and newspaper and you'd use old clothes and stuff all your clothes with straw and newspaper to make it look like a person and this was to replicate guy forks some people would um, make a mask of him as well to put on their guy and then these were would be burnt on the big bonfire many schools would um, take part in a competition to see who could make the best guy and then they would um, put them on the bonfire on the 5th of November and um, see if they can spot their guy um, my mum remembers doing this um, she remembers doing it every year when she was at school it was a really big thing it doesn't seem to be such a big thing anymore um and even my dad remembers um asking for penny for the guy which was almost like a, a donation um he said that he he spent his money on sweets but along with the big bonfires it's really common for people to celebrate by setting off fireworks and that's because fireworks have, are made from gunpowder and, and guy forks was um, using gunpowder to blow up parliament so it's almost like a memorial thing to remember him by but the fun fact about fireworks is that they were actually made um, by accident um, by a Chinese chef about 2000 years ago apparently he had tried mixing together a few few things that were quite commonly used in kitchens back then and um, lo and behold he had made a explosive and then by the 15th century they were commonly used around the whole world for all kinds of celebrations right up until today but we must really be careful with fireworks they are really dangerous and can cause a lot of damage and um, to help you remember when my dad was at school uh, quite a while ago he um, and his friends um, were told to write a poem about Guy Fawkes Night and uh, so here is his poem it says beware beware fireworks are here 
the damage they cause is a lot. If not handled with care, they will burn all your hair and scar your body for life. However, as pretty as they are, fireworks are really damaging to the environment and to the wildlife. Uh, when they are released and they explode in the air, they release all kinds of pollutants and toxins that can be breathed in by the animals, including ourselves, but they also pollute um, the soil and they can contaminate water, which can affect aquatic life. So it's really quite worrying um, how toxic fireworks are and, and, and the impact that they have um, around us. It's quite inconsiderate of us, really. Animals don't understand what fireworks are. They don't understand that we are releasing them for fun. <laughs> um, and you can imagine if you, you don't understand what they are, they can be really scary, really stressful. Um, you may notice uh, how your dogs react. Um, my dogs are terrified. They, s they stay up all night shaking, um, sometimes to the point they're sick where they're so worried. Um, so, it's so it's really, really quite concerning um, the effects it has on the wildlife. Even the packaging that the fireworks comes in when they explode in the air it just gets dispersed around and lands randomly in the environment and I don't think anybody goes looking for where they've landed to pick it up and put it in the bin. So that's another thing that they cause is kind of lots of rubbish in the area. Luckily there is now such a thing as silent fireworks so that they don't cause so much distress to the wildlife um, but I would highly advise instead of buying your own fireworks to do in your garden at home go and watch a display because usually displays are free they are usually really good and they have loads and loads of fireworks which cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds and you can go watch them for free so it seems quite silly really to buy fireworks for your garden when they're never really that good and they're so expensive so please do try and go and see the firework display and if you really would like to do something with family and friends in your garden then perhaps just have a little campfire roast some marshmallows and just share that experience together instead well thank you for watching, I hope you've learnt something new and if you're really interested about Guy Fawkes then you can learn more by visiting albert.co.uk I believe the link is below so find that and, and have a good read there's so much information, you may need to find the history page on the website and then somewhere on there there'll be lots of information about Guy Fawkes um, so until next time, stay safe everyone, have a lovely fireworks night, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye! <coughs>